Hey everyone, before we kick things off, I just want to let you all know that my new Panasonic GX9 JPEG recipe book is now available for purchase from my website. It's an ebook I've been putting together for quite some time now. It consists of five JPEG recipes, in camera JPEG recipes, that I've come up with over the last 18 months with the Panasonic GX9. Five core recipes I use pretty much every single day for great JPEG results. Plus there's another two bonus recipes that I've recently come up with, let's just say over the last couple of months. Head over to the website, check out my new JPEG recipe book. It's available now. Hey everyone, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. My name's Grant, today's video we're gonna talk about the Panasonic GX9 in 2024. I know you all love this camera and I do too. Especially here and now in 2024, the Panasonic GX9 is still very relevant, we know that. And also, it is getting harder and harder to find. Will there be a Panasonic GX9 Mark II in 2024? Let's roll that intro, let's get straight into it. Hey everyone, welcome back. So yeah, the Panasonic GX9 in 2024. I made a Panasonic GX9 in 2023 video last year. It was one of my most popular videos. And it has become, let's just say, over the last 12 months, a very, very hot item. So in this video, I've got five core cool reasons why the Panasonic GX9 is a hot item and why you all love the camera and why all of you guys and girls who haven't got a Panasonic GX9 are eyeing one off. Okay, first reason has to be said, it is the size and form factor of the Panasonic GX9. It is super small, it is super tiny, it is a ninja camera. Just pick up, grab and go, and you're right to get out there and start making great images. Doesn't stand out like the Panasonic G9 that I'm filming on right now, or the GH5 Mark II, the bigger micro four thirds cameras. People definitely know you've got a camera when you're using those particular instruments. However, a tool like the Panasonic GX9 is very incognito. It doesn't stand out, it is great for street photography. And let's just say the Panasonic GX9 is the king of micro four thirds cameras when it comes to street photography. Closely chased by the Olympus Pen F. This is my new Olympus Pen F. For me, it is a great documentary camera too. This is the camera that I pick up and document moments with my family. It doesn't stand out, it doesn't get in the way or anything like that, it doesn't ruin the moment. The size is absolutely everything. And that's one of the reasons why I still love it in 2024. Okay, control. The Panasonic GX9, for shooters who shoot uh, fully manual, the controls are absolutely everything. It is a full manual shooting experience. For me, I've got shutter at the back, I've got aperture on the front. There's an exposure compensation dial for all you aperture and shutter priority shooters out there. You can customize the buttons to suit your workflow. And the other thing you can do is you can also cosmetically modify the camera itself. I've got the JJC little L grip here that helps me grip the camera a bit more. I've also just recently ordered one of these thumb grips that fits into the um, hot shoe, the flash hot shoe. But you can also get half leather cases and stuff like that. You know, it's a fully customizable camera, both inside, in the software, in the camera itself, and externally. The absolute fantastic looks of the Panasonic GX9. Is there a better looking micro four thirds camera? Other than that particular camera, the Panasonic GX9 looks absolutely brilliant. If Leica is your thing, let's just face it, the Panasonic GX9 is a very, very similar look to a lot of the Leica cameras out there. And pairing this camera up with the Panasonic Leica uh, collaboration lenses, you're gonna get, oh, I don't know if I should even say this, a Leica look, I don't know. Anyway, the camera looks great, and I think that is a big selling feature of this particular camera. They are sleek, they are minimal, they are perfect for the streets. It is a powerhouse of a camera. Never mind the looks and the handling and things like that, it is a powerhouse. 
It essentially is a shrunken down Panasonic G9. And we all know how great that camera is. I use it all the time. In fact, it's filming me right now. 20 megapixel sensor, great megapixel rating. Um, you know, maybe a Panasonic GX9 Mark II, they might have the 25 megapixels, the new autofocus, stuff like that, I don't know. But for now, the 20 mega, megapixel um, sensor gives great results. The flip up screen, this is a big one. I love the flip up screen. It is great for shooting from the hip and remaining a ninja on the streets. And I know you all love that flip up screen. The stabilization, that has to be said too. I love image stabilization. I lean on it a lot. Stabilization in the Panasonic GX9 is fantastic for slowing down that shutter speed in low light conditions, absolutely brilliant. And especially if you pair it up with a stabilized lens, you're gonna get the dual IS, which is even better in low light conditions or slowing down that shutter speed. And just quickly, while we're talking about lenses, the lens choice for the Panasonic GX9, or let's just say micro four thirds in general, is through the roof. For me, building up a little prime kit over the last 18 months has been quite fun. Right now I'm using the Panasonic Leica 15mm f1.7. I did use for a period of time, and still do I should say, the 20mm f1.7. I love this lens. I was using the 25mm f1.7. I recently sold that lens because I wasn't using it that much. But that lens on this camera was also awesome. Super compact, super lightweight. The little primes are the way to go. However, when I was talking about stabilization just before, if you pair it up with one of these zoomed stabilized lenses like the 12 to 60 f2.8 to f4, this is a very, very versatile lens paired up on the Panasonic GX9. Another lens I also like using with my Panasonic GX9 is the 35 to 100 mil f2.8 constant f2.8 aperture. This is a great lens and for me this particular lens even though it's about the same size as the 12 to 60 as you can see there this is an internal zoom and it balances a whole heap better on the Panasonic GX9 and the results of that camera and this lens through the roof super sharp super crispy absolutely love it. But getting back to my main point, the features of the Panasonic GX9, lenses aside, it is a great video camera, right? For videos and stills, if you're out there on the streets doing street photography and you want to capture some B-roll and stuff like that, fantastic hybrid camera, both stills and video. The Panasonic GX9 gives great results, great images every single time. We absolutely love it. So as you can see, the results speak for themselves. The images that come out of the Panasonic GX9 and, a twin, and its 20 megapixel sensor, stabilized sensor, always gives great results. The colors are fantastic. And just quickly too, the JPEG straight out of camera with the Panasonic GX9 are fantastic. And again, if you're interested, head over to my website and check out my new ebook. It's all about getting great results, great JPEG straight out of camera with your Panasonic GX9. I know a lot of you guys and girls do use the Panasonic GX9 and you absolutely love it. You share a lot of your photos um, over on my Facebook group community. You use the hashtags and stuff like that. It always gives great results. I always love seeing what you guys and girls can do with your Panasonic GX9 and the results always speak for themselves. So yeah, that's about it. Quick traditional video on my behalf. Five reasons why the Panasonic GX9 is still great in 2024 and has become, I would say over the last 12 months, a bit of a cult camera. With the popularity of smaller cameras like the Fujifilm X100V and the XE4, these tiny micro four thirds cameras are also becoming very, very popular for all street photographers, people that want an EDC camera, general day-to-day -day life camera, these little things are super popular. So if you can find one at a good price, snatch it up really quickly. So yeah, that's about it. Let me know what you think. If you like this sort of thing, please do consider subscribing to the channel. That helps me out a lot. Big thumbs up for the video and I'll see you all next time.